Yo hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Greetings Jenkins users. In this tutorial we will be discussing how to use webhooks in Jenkins in 2024. You, If you have uh, involved in continuous integration and deployment, understanding how to leverage webhooks in Jenkins is a very big game changer. Stay tuned and it automates your Jenkins uh, workflow with webhooks. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, at the start of this video, we need to introduce to you what are webhooks and how can they be a game changer. Well, so we have made dozens of videos since the start of this channel about integrating, connecting, adding, uh, like doing something like two apps together uh, merging two apps together and doing stuff but how does it really work in the background so this is actually a video who is meant for those who are interested in developing and for the developers themselves because webhook basically are or basically are like one way that ads can send automated messages to Inf uh, or information to other apps it is basically for example since most of us use PayPal so it is basically how PayPal tells your accounting app when your clients pays you or how Twilio your wrote phone calls to your number and how WooCommerce can notify about your orders in Slack so yeah webhooks is basically uh, how your online accounts can speak to each other and get notified automatically when something new happens in many cases you will be uh, you will need to know how to use webhooks if you want to automatically push data from one app to another so yeah this video is very very important for you as a developer and for those who just want to know new topics new stuff about developing word yeah this video is very perfect for you so now how we can actually use webhook with Jenkins is a pretty insane way so in this guide you will learn how to trigger your Jenkins pipelines from port using webhook actions so this is the web app this is the action event to send to port this is the port here you will have a webhook and this webhook will send event to Jenkins webhook so here as you can see the first one is to uh, action event sent to port then send event to Jenkins webhook then get, get event then trigger Jenkins pipeline and finally reflect action progress mm -hmm. so how we gonna make that happen we simply have to follow this so the steps shown in the image above are as follows an action is invoked in a port port signs the action payload using an using SHA1 with the client secret value and puts it in the export signature request header. Then port publisher are invoked with hug via a post request. Uh, an example flow would be a developer asks to run Jenkins pipeline. Port sends a post request with the action payload to the Jenkins webhook. Then the Jenkins webhook receives the new action request. The Jenkins webhook triggers the pipeline. Now for the pre Questies for this uh, tutorial, you will simply need a plugin which is being called Generic Webhook Trigger, allows triggering Jenkins pipeline using Webhook calls. So, to start setting up the Webhook, enabling Webhook Trigger for a pipeline. To enable trigger a Jenkins uh, pipeline using, using a Webhook invocation, you will need to add Generic Webhook Trigger as a build trigger to your pipeline. So, in your jobs page, enter the configuration tab and scroll down the build trigger section. Check the generic webhook trigger box. As you can see, it will be something like that right below but periodically. Then, by default, when enabling the webhook trigger for a job, it can be triggered by sending an event to HTTP in King's URL generic webhook trigger invoke. This means that if not configured otherwise, all jobs will be triggered when sending an event to this route. It is recommended to set up a job token to avoid running unwanted 
jobs then you have to start defining variables so after checking the box look for post content parameters section this is where you will define the variables which will be passed to your pipeline run so the variable feed value should match the name of the variable that is defined in your job configuration and expected by the job run the expression field should be set to json path and be detect directed to the uh, relevant property sent by the port action so this is how it looks like here you should choose the variable name of variable expression and choose if you want it to be a json path or an x path so these are two codes in case you were going for Dijon, this is what you have to go for. In case you would like to go for uh, XPath, you should go for this one. So here, as you can see, for example, the JSON pod path for input one would be something like that. And yeah, you can look here and take a screenshot or copy it. So you can post the video and copy it to your terminal. After that, you have to make a token setup. So the token parameter allows triggering a specific uh, or a group of jobs. To set up a token for your job, scroll down to the token section and provide a job to the token. For example, here, let's name a job token. And then after saving, you will need to be able to specifically trigger this job job using the following URL. So Jenkins URL generic quick trigger invokes token job token. And then we have to set up the port action so this is the code simply just copy it or take a screenshot of it so you can uh, write it yourself and then securing your webhook now we have to secure it so the first thing whitelisting gives you the following security options limit the list of ip addresses that can send a request that triggers the pipeline add validation for the webhook payload content to verify that it's really uh originated from port here is an example of the required configuration how does it work so here you should add the whitelist enable so add specific ips that you want them to actually trigger something within your webhook and here we'll find HMA secrets add the secrets code and algorithm and after that you will be good to go after that you should report Jenkins action run status to port so here just give it a random id that you wanted and expression must be named dot context dot run id of course it should match either json path or x path depending on what you have chosen at the beginning so yeah guys this is basically it it could be some kind of difficult thing for new listeners who are not very used to coding and etc and even developers who doesn't really know about webhooks and jink Kings, it's really must be very difficult but once you get used to it it's gonna be easier than this so yeah guys that was it for today's video if you did enjoy it make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel see you guys in the next tutorial